Her hair cannot be contained, you guys. I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Yeah. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I wanted to do, but I was waiting for the baby to turn three months, so that way it'd be my newborn must-haves from zero to three. And honestly, I'm super excited. You know, I just want to let you guys know that this is just stuff that I think I really loved using for my newborn. Um, and I will definitely link everything down below. A lot of things you can find on Amazon. So I will just put that stuff on Amazon. And I do have the baby right here. Look at her. It's so cute. She is just wearing this really cute onesie and she was just relaxing for a bit, but I just figured I'd put her in the video with us. Anyways, so, um, oh, you guys, I definitely need a recommendation. So, I mean, it's baby hair. I could care less if I can't tame it, but look at her hair, you guys. When it's wet, it curls, but when it's dry, it just frizzes up like no tomorrow. So if you guys have any recommendations on what to put for your baby's hair, just let me know. But okay, so I'm just gonna get right into it, starting with um the boppy. So I personally, so I personally have this boppy, you guys, and I love my boppy. I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Now my boppy, you guys, it was a lifesaver for when I was breastfeeding, when she was literally for like the first month, you guys, I was so, so tired when she would wake up in between like those two to three hours. And I just needed the boppy to hold her. Like, honestly, I don't know how I would have done it, nursing her and holding her at the same time at like two o'clock in the morning when I was like extremely tired. So the boppy was a lifesaver and I will definitely leave that link down below. Okay, so I did go ahead and put her down. She's actually lounging on the next one. It is the newborn lounger. And I would highly recommend it, especially if you have a new, I would recommend it more than the Docutot, specifically because it doesn't have any type of safety hazards or anything like that, as far as suffocation wise. Um, so I would recommend it myself. I personally was going to get the Docutot and I read so much on pros and cons and one of the biggest cons were it's a suffocation hazard because for overnight sleeping for napping it's perfect but for overnight sleeping it is a suffocation hazard and I really wanted something to where she could feel a little bit of snug like like a little snug but not really because the the lounger does go down like in the bum area so I really love the newborn lounger and she's been sleeping in it every night um, since literally the day she came home from the hospital. Um, she will be transitioning to her crib, so she might not be using it after that just because she could roll, she has more space in a crib to roll off of the newborn lounger and um, that could be a suffocation hazard. So, but other than that, the newborn lounger is amazing. Okay, so my next thing is obviously a travel system. So my travel system that I got so my travel system that I did get is the Upa Baby Vista travel system. Now I absolutely love my stroller and car seat and I will get into another video on that but that is definitely one of my must haves because it's so easy for me. Next thing is definitely get a car seat cover. Now me personally, especially with the pandemic, even without the pandemic, I would want to have my newborn covered even now she still gets covered in a store or when we go out or anything like that a car seat cover i got mine off of amazon super inexpensive i will link it down below um but i just personally with the car seat cover people are mo most likely not to touch your baby i do not like when people are just like oh so cute like and they touch your child don't touch my child especially now like why would you touch a baby that is not yours and I just I just don't like you know people who don't take that into consideration and they just go up to a child and they're just like all breathing in their faces and everything like that so I knew when I first got pregnant that I was definitely gonna stock up on car seat covers and I've actually gotten a couple um, but my favorite one is the one from Amazon 
So next thing I did get is, um, I would recommend is gripe water. Now you don't need it, but I personally, when the baby was super gassy, when she was first, it was like in the first month or so, um, she was super gassy. I don't know if it was the formula that I had to give her because I did have to give her a little bit of formula for her jaundice. And, um, I think that did, you know, hurt her tummy a little bit. So the gripe water that I did use is the Little Remedies, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's reflecting, but it's the Little Remedies um, gripe water and it's for gas, colic, and hiccups. And another thing I definitely recommend is get bottles that you definitely like try different bottles. I was like, why would I buy all these types of bottles and then her only choose one? Camila doesn't have a preference, I have a preference. So she actually will take the Dr. Brown bottles, but she will not fall asleep with Dr. Brown bottles because of the nipple. She loves these Tommy Tippy, um, I believe they're like the colic bottles. They have the, let me see. So they have like the, the it's kind of like the Dr. Brown, just a whole different concept. So this is really neat. I mean, this blue line turns pink when it's too warm. When the milk is too warm for a baby, it will turn pink, which I really, really love. And I just prefer giving her these bottles. She loves it because of the nipple, you guys, because the nipple is so big that it actually kind of reflects a boob. And she actually really loves these. She will fall asleep on these. She will not fall asleep with the Dr. Brown bottles. I have tried the Dr. Brown. I also have a pack of the Avent ones, but I never opened it just because I didn't want to open all types of bottles if I had already found one that she likes. Next thing I would say is a must have that I use is um, a baby swing. Now I just picked one up from, um, from Target. I can link it in Amazon too, so I will go ahead and do that for you guys. But I just got the Graco um, swing and it has so, I honestly was just like, mm, I don't know. I really wanted to get the Mamaru, but I did not want to spend that money if she was not going to like it. So I was like making a budget, you know, purchase and I got the Graco swing and she loves this. Now, I honestly think she wouldn't have liked a swing if it was the Mamaru just because she loves the Graco swing specifically because the um the Graco swing has some lights at the top, it spins and um it sways more how she likes to sway. The Mamaru only has a few where it's like very light swaying and even the mobile on top does not do much. It doesn't even light up. And that's what she what catches her attention the most is the light up factor of it. So she loves her swing. The next thing I would say is a bouncer. I got the Infinity, no. I'll put the brand right here and I'll also insert a picture of her and her bouncer and the type I got. If I find it on Amazon, I will link it down below for you guys. But she now she didn't like her bouncer when she was a, like a month old, maybe a month and a half old. She started liking it more, but it's because she kicks so much now that the little animals on the ring thing, they move when she kicks. So and she bounces herself. So she loves it now and I could honestly put in her bouncer for a good minute and well not a good minute you know what I mean like a good 20 minutes 30 minutes even I could even just put her in her bouncer when I shower and it's what I do now and she'll stay there for a while and she loves it because she'll just keep kicking it's like she's she'll talk to them too so she loves her bouncer you guys and I highly recommend a bouncer hi what happened? Ah, you're so cute. Yeah? Yeah? I love you. I love you. <laughs> okay, guys. So, my next favorite thing, and I will insert a picture here, um, it is a baby bath with the cushion. Oh my gosh, my biggest thing was I am not going to put my baby in that hard bath like why would I do that 
So I actually got this, my, I had it on my registry and I actually got it from Les. So Les do makeup, Leslie, her baby Gael is so cute, but that bath, when she showed us in a vlog the bath that she had, I just had to have it because I had been struggling with trying to find a bath that I would, if I wouldn't want to be sitting in a plastic car tub, why would I put my baby in it? So I got that one and I absolutely love it. She loves bath time. Even her first bath was in it and she loved it. I will insert her first bath picture here. And yeah, so highly recommend this bath. Next thing I would definitely recommend is a play mat. So she has, I believe it's like a Fisher Price play mat. I don't remember, but it's, it's just the one that looks like the cloud, which I will go ahead and insert the picture here. And this play mat, she, I actually really liked it because it's so fluffy and comfortable. It even comes with like the little head pillow. Um, I do, you know, I, th I had more expectations for it, but I really like it. I mean, the comfort is for the price. I mean, there were so many other ones that just didn't go with like my whole, I just wanted something that would be pleasant looking if it was out. And this was definitely one of them. It's super comfortable and she loves it. She will, she doesn't like it for tummy time, but she loves it to just lounge on. I will put her in it when I'm cooking or something and I will switch her sometimes from her bouncer to her play mat and she loves it because when she's facing up, she can just play with her toys and she really likes it. Next thing I would recommend are the zip up sleepers. So sometimes these were a hit, sometimes they were not. And some, I would honestly, use either or. My favorite are the zip up ones though because in the middle of the night it's just so tiring to have to put the buttons and if you don't know then you don't know but it is super you're just tired you're trying to just put these buttons on and it's so much easier just to hurry up and put the sleeper on especially if your baby is half asleep or you know you just want to hurry up and put them back in their their crib or whatever so that way they can go back to sleep and putting a button is just so much more difficult so I actually really love either or but I prefer the ones with the zippers next thing I would definitely say is uh, a baby carrier you guys I did not think I would be that mom that would need a baby carrier but she loves the baby carrier when I'm cooking sometimes or when I'm cleaning. She sometimes just wants to be close to me and the baby carrier gives her that. So I actually really love it because it keeps my hands free, but it still gives her the comfort of being with me. And um, I just, my mother-in-law got me my baby carrier, so I'm not entirely too sure, but I'll link one down below that's very similar. Next thing I recommend after um, is a, Obviously a pacifier slash pacifier clip. Now this has been wonders for my, for Camila. So I just um, ordered some new pacifier clips from Amazon and I'm telling you guys, Amazon is my best friend, especially when I wasn't going anywhere. Um, after I just had had her, I was ordering stuff left and right. But the next, I would I got these pacifiers from a gift. They're just the regular Avent ones. And I tried these ones and the Tommy Tippy pacifiers and she hated the Tommy Tippy pacifiers. I don't know what it is about them, but she did not like it. Um, she really loves these, which is perfectly fine because I have a crap ton of these. Um, and yeah, so she really likes these and I just got these pacifier clips um, to go with it. I do have some other ones, but I don't know where they're at. But yeah, so definitely a pacifier and pacifier clip because if it wasn't for these pacifier clips, I probably would have lost these pacifiers a long time ago. Next thing I recommend is some type of sound machine. I um, don't have like a, a sound machine, sound machine for her, but I did get this as a gift and it's just this really cute sheep. I think it's a sheep. Is it a sheep? Let me know. I think it's a sheep. Is it a sheep? I'm really, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a sheep, but anyways. So it does, it's not a sound machine, sound machine, but it does make like the little noises, you know, like the twinkle, twinkle, little star stuff and whatnot. And she actually really, really loves twinkle, twinkle, little stars. So this is amazing um, for those times where I'm using my phone and I can't play twinkle, twinkle, little stars. I will just use that. And so it was a really good gift. I just wish I knew how to work it to where the song would stay longer than what it does. But other than that, 
Um, I really like it. So the last thing I would recommend you guys is the Baby Boone grass. You know, the plastic, really cute grass. I will insert a picture of how I have it in my kitchen, um, but I'll also link it down below because I did also get that from Amazon and I actually really love it. It's super convenient for all of her bottles and stuff like that. I even, I, I use it for my pump stuff and everything. It's just super easy. I wanted something that was easy to clean. I don't need a sterilizer, me personally, just because my family just boils boils stuff in hot water and you just sterilize it that way. So that's the way I do it. All right, guys. So that was everything for my newborn must-haves. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And make sure you click that bell button so that way you get notified every time I post a new video. I will link everything I can down below for Amazon because Amazon is everyone's best friend. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.